on a video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use symbols in Infinity Designer. Now, symbols have been in Illustrator, um, certain other applications got symbols as well. It's a great way of creating multiple instances of a design that you can change at one place. So, now you can see I've got some symbols already added there. I'm just going to go to the View and Studio and Symbols. So, Studio and Symbols, that's the key area. So, that will bring up this panel. So, you can see this panel here. Now, to actually add a symbol to the thing, I'm just going to show, just drag that across, drag that across, and drag that across. That's three instances of that symbol. Now, just going to remove those, but just want to quickly show you. Now, there's also another feature. You can drag that out there. It's still a symbol, but you can detach it. You can also, as I said, choose whether to synchronize edits across symbols. I always keep that on, so basically that's a sort of auto detach feature. So if you drag it out, do edit, then it will detach. Okay, just where that's been on. So now once you've actually got that, you can say detach. So you can detach, and now any changes to that symbol, I can actually just go over here. You can notice it just becomes a group. So I went before, so I'll just drag that across. It's called symbol. Then it becomes just a group, just a standard path. Okay, now to create your own symbols. And I'm going to create a very basic one. So I'm just going to create that and that and create that and create that. Okay, so you've got a nice design there. Now to actually create it, just go, there's a little create. Create a new symbol from current object. You click that, it actually goes right, just creates multiple, and so obviously that one, that one, that one, all created. I don't want to do that. What I want is a group. So if you've got sort of paths with multiple entries, then what you want to do, undo that, and undo the actual creation of that, is go to a layer and a group. So you can see over there in the layers, You've got it as a group now, and now you can go create, and there you've got the nice symbol there. Right, that's that removed. So to actually use it, what you need to do, just drag that across, and you can then edit it. Now it doesn't change this anyway. You can actually create multiple ones here. So you can drag that one, duplicate it. They're all again symbols. You can see over here, symbol, 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 and you create another one. Now, what you can do, you can also edit it. Any edits you make to the symbol, obviously other than such as very simple sort of that sort of thing, just we can rotate it if you want to rotate it, that doesn't affect the symbol. But if you actually go and apply, say, a change of colour, like a sort of dynamic symbol you would have in the Illustrator, you can change the colour and other things, apply effects, add additional paths. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use these layers. So just go there and Click that and you will see ellipse, 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 ellipse. That's what it's made for. So it's four ellipses. Now, I want to change that one. That's the one. But I don't want it in that position. So if I want it to move it around, you can see now, because of course I've rotated it, it's actually makes it slightly odd. It moves around in different, but it's basically moving out, out. If I move against the uh, where the light's actually on there, you can see it's moving out that direction. So you can change your position and then it's reflected over here. In the symbol, you can also, if you want, and I'm going to select there another one. You can do the other one, you can move that one, you can see that moves as well. You can go to any of them, so you don't have to use that one. You can edit this one. I'm just going to go to that or that one. Okay, you can change the fill. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go to the gradient, and, and then you can move that around. You can see it's modified in all of them, it's updated here as well. Also, you can modify the actual gradient. So if you don't want that, you can see you've got the gradient there. You can change it from radial, elliptical, and so on. So you can do the whole range of different. Now, you can also, and it's all the game, key point, it's reflected over here. It's a pity there's no duplicate feature. It would be nice, it's a little duplicate, so you can actually make a copy and then you don't. What you can do, detach it, so just drag it across, do the edits, and then drag it back in again to make it another symbol. But it would be nice if the tool had a duplicate feature. Hopefully another version will have that, who knows. Now, once you can do that, you can actually also apply effects as well as brushes. So you can say, just apply a brush, you've got a nice little brush there, got even wonderful 
designer. That's one of the graphic extras image brushes that I've imported in, but you can see it over there again. You can see the actual change. I don't want that, but I'm just, just going to remove that. You can also just modify, and I'm going to go for one of these ones, say blur, so you can get a nice blurring effect. And again, that's reflective. You can see it just about in this video, I suspect. You can see the effect of the blur to that, just that design. You can also, now once you've done that, I'm going to go to another one now. It's going to go to that one and I'm going to select that one. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to add another path to it. So just going to go there. Now, it's not actually added at this point. In this case, it is actually good, but I was I was hoping it was going to be above. <laughs> you know, I get it. I get a bit crap. What's your name? If I'm going to show you, because it's uh, otherwise that's not exactly what I wanted. You've actually got the design. It's actually created outside of the symbol. That's the key thing. If you create that, so you've got that design there, it's again created out there. It isn't part of the symbol. But if you actually got that selected, which I did of course have, I'll select down there and then create it. It adds it. Now, what you want, if you want it to become part of that symbol, just drag that down there and you can see now it becomes a symbol and and likewise, I'm going to drag that one as well into that symbol. And now you can move that around. You can change that. And in that case, I've got it in, just dragged it too far into that. Don't want that. That's there. And I want to move that around. Now that's part of the symbol. And you can see it now coming into the design. It was actually off the screen, which is, makes it very odd to see it. But you can actually see it becomes part of the symbol. And likewise, this one as well. You can drag that and you can see that becomes part of the symbol. All these designs have that part. Now that particularly isn't very good, but you can also delete. That's another thing. Another thing, if you don't like some of these ellipses, say you want, don't like those ones, you can actually, I'm just gonna move that out because I can't see the actual delete. You can actually say delete. So then the symbols actually just become just three. And again, you can, then say, well, I don't want circles, but I'm going to add, make certain nothing selected. That was my mistake earlier. Don't have anything selected, otherwise it puts it inside. So put it there and just create a design there. And again, you can then move it over onto one of them. That's the key thing as well. And then, I can see which one it is. That one there. So just drag that down to that symbol there and then you can see now the symbol has been added to all of them. If you actually expand that out you can actually see the rectangle has been created in all of them. You can also of course say I don't want that and that will be removed but again you can just deselect it there as well as deselecting these other ones as well. So that's a quick way of modifying the symbol. But you do have to remember, which I must admit I didn't do right, was to actually add it into the symbol, maybe at the top and then put it in there or do it within that, but just make certain you move it into the right one. Otherwise you're gonna confuse yourself because it's off the screen and all that sort of stuff. Probably not a great idea. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. And before you go, please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials and also www.graphicextras.com for many other tutorials about Affinity Design, Affinity Photo, and many more. Thank you much. Bye.